Are we talking about Korea? Yes. Uh-huh. Korea. When's your date of birth? February 24th, 1932. I'm going to ask you a few questions, Carl, okay. about the military. Yes. Since your uh, great, 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 great grand descendants children, nephews, and nieces might be watching this in the year 2100. Uh, let me ask you your parents' name. Uh, Ruth Franz. Ruth Franz. And Fred Franz. Fred Franz. Yes. Okay. And what was your mother's maiden name? Easter. Easter. E-A-S-T-E-R. Right. Okay. Right. And are you married, single, divorced? I'm married. Married, married 40, 45 years. Okay. And what is your wife's name? Mary Lou. Mary Lou. And what was her maiden name? Eldridge. Eldridge. E-L-D-R-I-D-G-E? Right. Okay. And is she from Southern County, Ohio? Yes, yeah, she's from uh, Flat Hollow, Kentucky, right across the bridge. Okay, great. And what were her parents' names, do you remember? Well, I... I uh, her father's name was Everett, and her mother's name was Shirley. Do you remember her maiden name? No, I don't. Okay. The reason I ask those questions is that sometimes genealogists who are interested in tracing back, you know, like to have names. Yes. That sort of thing. Now, do you have children? Yes. Alan uh-huh. and Brenda. You have two children, a yes. son and a yes. daughter. Alan and Brenda. Right. Do they have children? Yes. Alan had children. What what are his children's names? His daughter's name is Jordan, and uh, his son's name is uh, Victor. Okay. And does Brenda have children? Your daughter? Yes. And uh, she has a son named Alan, and a daughter named uh, Victoria. Okay. Very good. And uh, you were born in 1938, did you say, or 32? 32. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, That would make you about 67. What presently is your address? 1605 Kenny's Lane. And what was your occupation? Are you retired now? Yes. What was your occupation? I was a heavy equipment operator for 20 years. And I uh, got in the sign business, Fran Sign Company. Down there. I see. Well, that's where I recognize your name on uh, Second Street or Front uh, Street. Or? We're on Glover Street. Glover Street. Okay, very good. How much? Uh, how long have you been in the sign business? Uh, we've been in the sign business about twenty-six years. Okay. I assume then that you are established and doing well. Right. Right. Okay. right. Does your son do that for you? Yes, he does. Okay. How much education do you have? Uh, two years of high school. Okay. And uh, now let me ask you some uh, questions about your sign on you right now. About your military time. Um, were you in the Army, the Air Force, the Marine, Marine Corps? You were in the Marine Corps. Yes. Okay. Were you uh, drafted? Did you join? I joined. Okay. When did you join? Uh, in, uh, I joined in 1949. Do you remember the date that you went in? It was uh, September the 2nd, I believe. Mm-hmm. Of 49. Why did you join the Marine Corps? Oh, I just just wanted to get away from home. I see. And it did take you away from home, didn't it? Sure did. And in the Marine Corps, what was your um, oh, MOS? What was your, your duties? Uh, heavy equipment operator. Where did you do your basic training? At Paris Island, South Carolina. And after your basic training, where did you go? I went to Camp to Jim. What did you do there? Uh, not much of anything, because shortly after we went on over to uh, Korea, I went to Japan. All right. Um, so you went to Japan. Uh, when did you get to Japan? Oh, got to Japan in about June, I believe it was. Of 19... 
50 or 51 or? Yeah, it's about uh, 51, I believe. 50. 1950. Now, was the Korean War, had it broken out at that time? Yes, uh -huh. that's where we were headed. Okay. Now, when you were finally discharged from the service, what was your rank? Sergeant. Okay. But now, in being in Japan, so you were you were sent to Japan on your way to Korea. Right. Okay. And uh, when you got to Korea, where did you enter Korea? Incheon? Incheon. Okay. Incheon. Were you part of the Incheon invasion? Yes. Okay. What was your unit? Uh, first Engineer Battalion. And being in the First Engineer Battalion, what what was your mission? What was your were you supposed well, to do at the Incheon invasion? Uh, we were to uh, build roads was our main project, but actually I was the first man on Incheon at the Incheon invasion. I was the first man off of the ship, mm -hmm. and rest because the banks were so high that the infantry couldn't get up on the beach. And so they sent me in on this LSD. Uh, my dozer was the first one, and I was the first one off for a half hour. I was on the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you, while you were on the beach there, I assume that you were working your dozer. Right. Was that for purposes of, of uh, building an entryway? For yes, the yes, yes. They were all out in their little boats running around. They couldn't get up because the bank was too steep. Um, I'm going to assume that your job out there, being all alone, uh, working your bulldozer, was rather uh, dangerous. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. were you being shot at? Yes. Uh, There's a pillbox right in front of me shooting thousands of bullets and one up at the church steeple. Mm -hmm. Well, what did you do? Just keep working Just your bulldozer? Working. All right. They had hitting my dozer, hitting the sand, hitting the water. They killed the gunner on the ship. And uh, that's about it. That's about all I can remember about that. Okay, so finally, however, you, you completed your mission and the infantry came ashore. Right. Okay. Then what happened? What did you do? Then I, I backed up. Uh, larger? Yeah. I backed up to lay down to rest. And when I laid down, that's when all those troops come out of their holes and surrendered. All the North Koreans? Yeah. Did they surrender to you? Yeah, because I was the only man there. How many did you take prisoner? I, I took, uh, there was 40, 50 of them that surrendered to me. Okay. And I don't know how many more, but the time the other men got there, they took charge of them. And I, I don't know how many of them surrendered. Um, you know what I'd like for you to do? I'd like for you to take off your hat a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So there's a shadow. On your, yeah. Not my hair. Slip down your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what pretty. Yeah. yeah you look <laughs> okay. Now, uh, uh, after Inchon, of course, the, uh, the Americans drove the North Koreans up to uh, near the Yalu. Were you involved Yalu? in that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What can you yeah, tell me about that? I worked on the uh, airfield for three months. There was the airfield at Seoul? At Kempo. Kempo Airfield. Mm -hmm. I worked on it for three months. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I like the pros to that. <laughs> How far north was that? That was almost to China. I see. And then uh, were you involved in the uh, invasion of the Chinese when they came oh, across? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. What happened there? There was... 300,000 of them jumped us. We were surrounded for three months. Were you at the Frozen Chosen? Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, it's not much to tell. I just, uh, was just under fire every day. Uh, and uh, Chinese everywhere after us. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of uh, casualties. Were oh, around. yeah, yeah. We had to bury the, the dead. We had to dig holes and they'd bring them in. Mm -hmm. It's all right, Carl. Then we, we pulled out of the Chosen and what happened then? Oh, boy. We went back to 
poops on. And uh, we had to blow up most of our equipment and get on this, these ships that so many civilians had been on, hauling them out. It was, uh, it wasn't Pusan, was it? Pusan was down in the south, but I think he went to uh, uh, Wolf's Wo- 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 Circle. One Yeah, yeah. yeah one Sun, right. Yeah, okay. that's where we went. Okay. So you got out of there? Yeah, we got out of there. Then what happened to you? Uh, boy, I can't remember much more except just getting after about 12, 13 months getting sent home. Alright. Was that it? That's about it. And then, um, um, when were you discharged from the Marines? Uh, in 1952, in December of 52. The day that you were discharged? Do you remember that day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you... <laughs> it went real well. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> right after you were discharged. You go get a beer or something? Uh, we, there was three of us. We went down and bought a car and we drove home. It took us two weeks to get home. <laughs> From where? <laughs> From California. <laughs> two weeks? Ordinarily, <laughs> that's about a four day drive, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ordinarily. <laughs> okay, that sounds great. Um, uh, did you, uh, Bring back any souvenirs from Korea? I had plenty of them, but they, they made us give them all up. Oh, well, they did? Yeah, I had burp guns and everything. Mm-hmm. Those guys come out with their burp guns and go shooting at us. And we'd kill, I don't know how many of them. We'd get their burp guns and we'd go and bring them home, but never got to keep any of them. How about any of their insignias, their belt buckles or uh-uh. things like that? Never had nothing like that. Okay. Did you get any decorations while you were there? No. No. You had your ribbons, of course. Yeah, I had all kinds of ribbons. Mm-hmm. Were you wounded any time? Well, I, I hit landmines and uh, floated up twice with landmines. Mm-hmm. And uh, Were you on your dozer when that happened? Uh, I was on the dozer. Mm-hmm. And they wanted to give me some kind of medal for that, and I wouldn't I told them forget about that. Why did you uh, feel that way? I just just felt that way. Okay. Uh, there's something else here. Let me see if I do. You, do you uh, remember the names of some of your friends over there? Yeah, Andy Owens. He was my main buddy. Okay. And uh, what happened to him? Uh, we come home together, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, I haven't seen him since then. I see. Have you ever stayed in contact with anybody that you? met and, uh, and knew in the service. No, I haven't. Uh-huh. Is there a reason for that? Well, I, I just really didn't want to talk to him. Okay. Um, when you were uh, blown up on the bulldozer, were you ever evacuated? Uh, was it ever that serious? Well, I, when the first time I was blown up, it got but my hearing and my sight some. And I just kept on going and and forgot about it after several days, just kept going. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do you remember the scariest thing that ever happened to you over there, or was it all scary? No, it was about every day was scary. So many Chinese. And uh, did the service uh, change you? something you want to talk about that's all right yeah it changed me quite a bit you want to say in what way or? no just made me start thinking a lot is there anything uh, let me ask you this did you like the marines yeah I, I liked them pretty good yeah yeah is it something you would recommend to a young man uh, not hardly. <laughs> <laughs> but you like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, only in peacetime, maybe. Well, uh, your your great 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 grandchildren might be watching this here a hundred years from now, and uh, other people. As far as that goes, is there anything else you'd like to say or pass on?
Boy, I can't think of anything. I will when this is over and you go home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll think of a lot. I noticed you had a cane there and a bracelet. Yeah, I, I, I had a stroke. Let's see, five years ago. Okay. But all the time I was in Korea, nothing ever bothered me. I wasn't scared of anything or nothing. I can't ever remember ever giving anything a thought until I got discharged. It all came by then? Yeah. Let me ask you this. Uh, it's all come back and stay there. Right. Thanks for everything you did. Uh, sure. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you very much. Wait, did you have a document there you wanted to Oh, I just share? had this. We're still on. This was in the paper uh, sometime, a long time ago. Oh, this has to deal with the story about you being the first man to hit the beach at Incheon, Korea. Yeah. Okay, where, was this in the newspaper? Somewhere? No. Uh -uh. Okay, where was, uh, how was this printed? Uh, boy, I forget, somebody printed that up mm -hmm. quite a while ago. Okay, and this says, and I'll just read a little bit of it here while we're still on. Uh, we were all sitting on the decks of the ships watching all the action take place. We were, were watching all the dive bombers come in and drop their bombs. And then when they were gone, the big guns on all the ships would start firing hundreds of rounds on the beach. Then all of a sudden there would come the dive bombers again and drop their bombs, and this would go on and on for a while. But looking around, it looked like there were dozens of ships all around. I don't think the ships ever stopped firing their guns, but the planes did stop coming in. While I was just sitting on the deck watching all this, the captain said we were going to try to find a place to land. As we got closer to the beach, there were thousands of bullets coming to the beach and thousands coming from the beach. All I could see was bullets coming and going. As we got closer to the beach, our gunner was hit and killed instantly. In front of us was a large pillbox sending out thousands of bullets and one machine gun was in a church steeple shooting like crazy eyes. When you say you can see the bullets, are you talking about tracer rounds? Tracer, yeah, okay. tracer. They're all over the place. Yeah, all over the place. Then I noticed one of the ships coming close to the beach and it knocked out the machine gun in the church steeple and tried to knock out the pillbox. He had to come in two times before he got the pillbox. Before they were knocked out, they were sending thousands of bullets hitting our ship and there were bullets flying all over the inside of the ship. I don't know how many bullets were coming from the men in the holes. And the men in the holes would be the enemy there. Yeah, there. the guys that was in the ground, they was all dug in. The ones that come okay. out and shredded to us. They decided to let my dozer go in there and start looking for a different place to land. Uh, so they discharged your dozer onto the beach there and right. tried to find a place to land. Right. As I started down the ramp, there were so many bullets hitting my dozer. After I got off my dozer, after I got my dozer off, and started knocking the bank down so the troops could get in. And while I was doing this, there were still so many bullets flying by me and hitting my dozer. It's a wonder I ever lived through this. By this time, the ship was back in and had knocked out both machine guns. After I was done, I backed up to stop and rest. When so many men came out of their holes and surrendered. And they, these are the guys that surrendered yeah, to you. Yeah, the guys in the ground. There. Okay. By this time, all the rest of the men were on the beach. I don't know what took place in other places of the beach, but this is what happened where I was. I could go on and tell the stories of what happened at King Po Airfield and tell the story about the landmine that I hit. I could tell about the three times I cut into that, three mines I cut into that didn't go on. And I could tell everything that happened on top of the mountain I was on Christmas Day in 1950. The worst place I was in was the frozen chosen reservoir. We were surrounded by 300,000 Chinese troops for three months. Every day was a fight to stay alive. I kept my dozer running and working day and night to keep from freezing to death. We dug holes to bury all the dead boys, and that was the worst of all for me. We finally had to retreat and get out of there. General MacArthur wanted to drop the atomic bomb on China, but President Truman called MacArthur back and discharged him from all duties. All that took place there, I can't begin to tell. Well, you don't have to read this. 
Okay. After leaving the Marines, I became a heavy equipment operator for 20 years. I then started Franz Sign Company, located at Glover Street, Portsmouth, Ohio. Now I've turned it over to my wife, Mary Lou, France, my son Alan, and my son in law, Victor Fish. It's a great story. Yeah. Pretty what did you think about MacArthur being your commander? Well, I like MacArthur. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like MacArthur. Well, thank you again. Okay. All right. Thank you.